hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide how are you sending you the purest of love and light as always god is for us we're blessed we're highly favored and we're protected and we know that all things work together for good to those who love god to those who are called according to his purpose his purpose romans 8 28 maybe that's for somebody all things work together for good so even whatever is out happening outside of us that we have no control over god is allowing that to happen so that in the end he will get all the glory all the praise because we're called according to his purpose so it's as if all of this has to happen because the enemy or enemies will have to learn at some point they will have to look at themselves and see all the things that they've been doing and seeing how God turned it around, how it turned around, whether they want to admit that there is a God or not, but they're going to see how everything backfire in their face, how everything blow up. And they will have to admit their failure, their, they will have to somewhere somewhere inside of them they will have to realize and see that there must be a god something happened because they did the most they did everything and yet still yet still so yes so god is causing all things to work together for good and even though it may not feel comfortable it's not where we want to be, but because we are called according to his purpose, many are called, few are chosen. So there is a plan for us in the will of God. And so as a result of that, we are partnering together with God to clean up some things here in this spiritual realm. And so, yes, in the end, we will see how everything worked together, how it all come together like a puzzle, all the pieces fall into place. So if it's your first time, welcome returning soul tribers, new soul tribers. Thank you for your continuous love and support. I really do truly appreciate you. Thank you so very much. So let's see what messages the angels have for us, why our angels are here. So Ten of Wands, and we know that's a card of a lot of burden, stress, overwhelm, just a lot of pressure, a lot of baggage, anxiety, like being like a candle burned at both ends, you know, and it says, Naniel, God humiliating the proud, spiritual communication influences religious men teachers and men of law so god is communicating in the spirit influencing religious so he's he's telling men and women of god something he's teaching us he wants us to know something our angel is here to help because it says god humiliating the proud so you we could be dealing with a lot of people who were trying to humiliate us they wanted to humble us in a bad way not the humble where you come humbly before God no they want to humiliate they want they did everything to get people to laugh at us to have us being outcast to suppress to keep us out locked out and then they would be on the other side laughing. They got a kick out of punishing us. I mean, you know it's sad. You know people are sick and twisted when they can actually do something to somebody else and know that they're causing pain unnecessarily. To know that they're inflicting whatever anxiety, harshness on another person and they get that brings them joy so this is why i'm saying we we are working with god because it's a lot of toxic energies here 
in this realms in this on this earth realm that we need to clean up that people need to be taught a lesson you know go sit down somewhere touch not god's anointed do his prophets no harm and to know that if they are doing something it must be because god allowed it and if god allows it that means in the end he's going to wrap up everything and because we are on his side he's going to wrap it up we are going to be taken care of they are going to be on the losing end even if for a little bit they laughed maybe for a little while and a little while could be one month two months two years but yet still time when it comes to time remember it's like with god there is no clock no watch so it's still just a drop in the bucket even though for us it may seem like a long time but i'm telling you when god does it when he cleans it up it's well done it's well done because he's going to humble these people he's going to show them what humiliation is and so this is why our angel is here to humiliate the proud so whatever humiliation ritual they had or they had people calling out you know like with with samson when he was bound and blind and they had the party they had him like for a mockery so they brought him out to like entertain all these wealthy people and without them knowing god restored the strength samson prayed and he asked the little boy who led him out to to find two pillars so he could rest his arm his hands on them and he braced himself and he shook that place god gave him his strength restored his strength back onto him for one last time even though he didn't survive it himself but the proud was humiliated because they were making a mockery out of his god and it's kind of like god give me one more chance to let me shut up these these enemies I won't allow them to keep mocking you because you see what Samson did he he went to marry Delilah against his religious will against what he was taught and told so he knew that what he did you know God was not pleased with him so it's like one last chance God caused all things to work together for good. So in the end they realize that God is powerful. So they may have taken his eyesight. They may have reduced him down to a rubble. Down to a ash. But God built him back up. So that in the end again he will be glorified, he will be exalted. God is not to be played with. He's not to be played with. And this is what a lot of people, they will come to the realization that God is not to be played with. Wow, the devil. So we have the ten of wands and the devil. Okay. Seduction and downfall. Communicates with the dead. Teaches the occult and man the and teaches the occult and magic. The severity of God. So God is here to definitely is like this punishment it's going to be severe it's going to be severe god is telling us what these people have been doing in the dark all the evil things that these people have been doing because the devil it's about attachment you know uh just this obsession been chained to something so it's like these people they were obsessed in trying to bring you to bring us problems and burdens and also whatever witchcraft whatever evil they were doing in the dark some of them they were doing things to seduce people 
to tempt people, to get people to do for them. Some of them, the way they are dressing, trying to tempt the men and women of God lying because they want to see them fall. It's that Jezebel, that Delilah spirit. So God is here to teach us what's been going on in the spiritual realm. What these people have been doing. I can't make it up at the back of the Three of Cups. It talks about friendship, celebration. All these people have been coming together to create burdens. They were doing these things, manipulating with demonic entities. And yes, I'm talking about the spiritual realm. Fame and renown influence commerce voyages and great discoveries. So the right hand of God is stretched out. It's like God is reaching down here. He's reaching out to give, give us his hand. It's like all around here is like it's fire, protection. It's like these people, they would do anything for fame. They would, do, they would do anything because they want notoriety. They want to be seen. Again, it's like they would seduce people. They would sleep with people. There is nothing that's too low that they wouldn't do in order to get to where they want to, to get the wealth, to get the fame, to get status. A lot of these people, like you're doing business with other people, they were probably influencing them as well. You know, trying to, they know you're working with somebody, they try to partner with that person to see if they could block you. These people were traveling, going all about voyages and great discoveries. They were traveling, going abroad to to do these things but see the ace of pentacles is here the adored god divine blessings drive away evil spirits rules agricultural production so it's like this is like the all-seeing eye of god you know it's like the song says you cannot hide from god his eyes are watching you they can't stop this divine blessing and God is here to drive away evil spirit because with the devil, that's what they've been doing is like conjuring, projecting, sending things your way to have, to have you. I mean, I know that I've been under a lot of spiritual warfare. So I, I can definitely relate to this, but it's like just feeling burden, stress, overwhelm. Is like pulling on you, pulling on your energy. Whether it's them sending energies to you or they're just projecting because they're miserable, they want you to feel this way. These people are attached to the devil. They are doing a lot of things in the dark. And this is why divine is here. It says it right there to communicate. These people that have been communicating with the dead teaches the occult and, man and magic. So these are the things that they have been doing. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles at the back here, you know, where God is here to drive away evil spirit. They were trying to humiliate us. Whatever you're working on, so you'll get burn out, fizz out, so that you can't be seen. To cause blockages and stagnances in your way. I mean, it's like, this is what I'm saying, how, this is why you know these people are sent from the other side. Because who, which, who is a Christ follower, believer, even some people who don't even believe in God would say it's harsh, it's terrible to do something bad to, to somebody else while you stand aside and laugh. Yeah. Yeah, so see, yeah, they've been spreading rumors about you. Yeah, it's a part of the humiliation ritual. To laugh at you, to get people to gossip, to talk about you. Just telling a lot of lies. 
Yes, and a lot of them, they're mad because you pay them no mind. And this is why they're doing conjuring up spirit with the devil energy there. You know, and this is why they're seeing the severity of God. It's like enough is enough. It's like the right hand of God. I mean, it's like God is snatching up these people. This is the three of cups. All of these people who are partying, celebrating, working together. All of these groups who are coming together to do this. It's like the right hand of God is on these people. Yeah, they've been working to cause you to miss out and to lose opportunity. And this is like, th this is collaboration. They're working together. You know, like in my case, they're grouping up to suppress my views, to block my messages from getting out. Because they don't want the truth to get out. It's like, again, how coward is this? Because if you're big and bad to do these wicked things, you should be able to, to stand it. But, oh, no, I, I forget. You work in the dark. Because, see, what you're doing in the dark is shady. You don't want people to know. You didn't want it to come out. But now everything has been exposed. Some people are mad at me because it's like my readings have changed. Why you're not preaching or teaching about, you know, um, like uplifting. There's a time and a place for everything. Because a lot of these messages that even I'm coming across here and with other readers, I can relate. I resonate with them a lot. And sometimes this is why God put me here to save myself. Because if, if I was not deep in my spirituality, I would not be here today. If I was not in touch with God, I would not be here. If I was just walking in religion alone, I would not be here today. Because for the things that I've experienced and going through, Explaining this to an ordinary person, they would say something is wrong, definitely wrong with me. So it takes a community where we, where you know you real recognize real. Because what these people are doing, they're doing it in the spirit. And a lot of us as religious people, we don't, we don't even realize that, we don't remember that God says he's a spirit. So every battle is fought in the spiritual realm. So it's coming to terms to understand this. This is why I am able to work with God to be here now, to share my story, to also to help, help and to reach back to other people who are going through different things or at least to prevent them from making a lot of the same mistakes that I have made. So it's just that for a lot of us, you see the year, this is the year of infinity, infinite abundance and blessings. And a lot of the, the, the people who are on the devil's side, they're amping up whatever it is that they're doing. They're amping up again, we see them come out looking like, yes, they're human beings, but really, they're doing a lot of things under the dark, in the quiet, fighting with us, and then they come out and laugh in our faces. So it's very important that we understand what is going on in the spiritual realm. So this is why they've been going so hard because it's like the year is almost finished and the devil is aware of certain things or blessings that some people are supposed to get and they're trying desperately to block those things. They're holding on for dear life. So therefore, they are doing what they have to do. So this is a time for us to pray to meditate, whatever, to fast. 
to get in union in alignment with God to overcome these things that the enemy is throwing at us this is not the time to play or to fool around it's important for us to know our own energy and when it's not, we need to send it back where it belongs. Yes, there are times you transmute, but there are times it's like, not today, Satan. Not today. I'm not dealing with it. I don't even need that to transmute. I don't need anything from that. Return to sender. So we need to know our authority in the spirit as well. So... Yeah, so the, a lot of these people, they've been spreading rumors about you because, again, they were trying to humiliate you. They wanted you to look bad in the eyes of others, spreading gossip. And because you're ignoring them, it's like they become even more obsessed with the devil energy there. And with their group, their clique, their posse, now they come together to see how they can block you, how they can stop you to miss out or to lose opportunities, to complain to your job, to, to, to complain, to meet up with the people you're working with, to spread propaganda. Like I said, trying to block so that if just in case, you know, there is no exposure, anything coming in, any viewing, then they're trying to stop it. Yes, for some of you, some of us, there could be a significant other who is sending negative energy. And it says the person hating on you, they also have narcissistic behavior. Competition, not surprise, always trying to one-up you. Yeah, so a lot of these people, their heart chakra is blocked. They have no feelings. This is why they're able to do what they do and they don't care. We are the only ones trying to empathize and sympathize with the devil when the devil is not playing with us. Not at all. The enemy is not playing with us. So our angels are here. God is here. Yeah. Four of swords. So yes, it's like God is here to lay all of this to rest now to put it to rest. All of the rumors, all the gossip, all the lies, it's now laid to rest with the four, four of, of swords here. Look, at the back is the empress. Yeah, an empress, a divine feminine. These people are telling lies, ruining. And guys, it's an energy. You're, you're intuitive, you're a divine being. You're, you're blessed, you're beautiful, you're pregnant with potential, you're gifted, you're talented, you are royalty. You have done the healing, you have done the work. And these, these haters, these demonic entities are trying to ruin your reputation so that others can see you in a negative light, to humiliate you. Because they want to bring you down to their level. You see what I'm saying? They want to bring you down to their level. No. God is putting all of this rumor to rest. Now they are going to get that which they send out. Yeah. They were messing with a divine being. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah. And because now they know why you don't you don't pay them any attention. Now I understand why they're mad. Because see, you're an empress. So it's like when they go low, you stay high. You don't have time to go down there to play with the chickens. You're an eagle. The empress is busy. You have she has things to do. It's like you don't have time for those for those people. And so this is why they're mad because you ignore them. And because you ignore them, then they become more obsessed. And they want to throw all of these 
do all these spiritual warfare against you to bring you down. Wow. Yeah, so it's like all your blessings. It's like you're here on your chair, whatever, sitting. You know, they want to overthrow you, to dethrone you. It's like they want to get you ruffled up. They want to see you stressed and bothered because here we have the Ten of Wands. It's like, how dare you? How dare you look this calm, this peaceful? They want you to be stressed out. Well, God is putting everything to rest. And you're still going to sit on your chair. They still didn't manage to even ruffle a, a straw off your hair. I'm telling you. Yeah, it's like the wheel is now turning. The wheel is turning. This is fated. This is destined. Ten endings bring new beginnings. So all of this demonic work that they've been doing because you're ignoring them, because they're not, I mean, yes, we're human beings, but we're vibing on two different levels. These people are unhealed. They're narcissistic. They're toxic. So therefore, it's like you can't, you can't reason with these people. There is nothing to talk about. We have, you have nothing, we have nothing in common. So the wheel is turning. Now these people are going to find themselves getting karma. For all the evil things that they have done, all the demonic work that they have done the gossip and the slandering see you have nine of nine of swords this is anxiety up all night can't sleep they're stressed tormented because this is what they did this is what they did to you this is what they did to us they didn't want us to sleep they want us to be anxious tired drained frustrated how can you be an empress how can you produce, be successful when you're stressed? These are the things that they were sending out to you. And with the two of pentacles, wanting you to juggle your pentacles, not having enough. That's, that's, this is what they, they, they were doing. The page of ones, like I said, just a lot of spiritual warfare these people have been doing. Now they're going to get this back. See, this, this is a queen of wands who was doing, doing this, or at least the head. They were doing this, working this magic, because they want you to miss out or to lose opportunities. You see, all this, these phone this person have, I wouldn't be surprised they were hacking, blocking, doing things. And you see what I'm saying? How can somebody know they are disrupting the life of an innocent person and they find something to laugh about? She's laughing because it's like with the wand in her hand, it's like I have control. I am manipulating people and energies. So all of those goofballs that, was, that, are, that are hanging out with this person are working, collaborating. They're also under... under his or her influence. So it's like feeling proud. I mean, like I said, all these phones circulating, they probably have a lot of phones, you know, able to get in touch with a lot of people. Like it says, they're causing you to miss out, lose opportunity because they're working with a lot of people, probably via technology, via phone or internet services in order to block stuff. See, it's like they, miss, they don't want to see with the Hierophant. It's like God is handing. You have, we have a purpose to do. And this person is working hard to block it. This is what this person is doing. They don't want you to be able to walk in your purpose, your calling, this change here. They don't want you to have change. And this is why right behind it we have judgment. This person, again, 
see all these eight infinite we have feathers all these signs and synchronicity is like god has been warning these people all along to stop they've been told all along to stop and it's like now the light is on is like and I, i mean to me this is like the ring leader is shock is like she shook at is like <gasps> You know, it's like everything toss up in the air. Like, oh my God, I am caught. Because I'm telling you, it's like the right hand of God. You see, like the ropes, they have fire. You know, for a lot of you, this people or person, they wanted you to be bound. They wanted us to be trapped. And again, with the fire, it's like God setting, setting it free. I mean, they did a lot. They did a lot. They didn't want you to answer the call. Because see, with the Hierophants, this is like God handing you whatever you call it, the scroll, the Bible, to go out to do what you're supposed to do. And you have this Queen of Wands again, this is somebody in the lower vibrational energy. Again, somebody who who work Diblan doubles in the low, lower hearts, the demonic work. Somebody who is very seductive. We saw here with the devil talk about seduction and downfall. So this is somebody who use their body 